Uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, that's it for the hospital. Cool. Uh, we have two talks as usual. Uh, our first one is from Nick, uh, from uh, Super excited. Uh, it's about Wazi and blockchain. Uh, we've had talks in the past uh, from, from previous guests and speakers about Wazi. Uh, this is a new one, uh, which is cool. And then we'll have an awesome one. Uh, well, I'll enter that one next. But uh, give it up for Nick. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, so other than that, like what we talked about, great. Um, and Can you closer to the mic? For the stream? Can you just hold it? Uh, no, we'll well, we don't know. They're on the internet. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Okay, yeah, so, um, but what EDM does not have, that Wasi does, is that it's a, it's a gigantic community around it, right? So you have people coming in from like web systems, um, operating systems, embedded devices, all pulling your effort into Blossom and making it just better. Like you have amazing tools, browsers, debugging, uh, Blossom, all the whole Rust Blossom community, like Blossom Pack, Twee, like all these great tools. We were talking about even if, um, EVM, in fact, what EVM has is like, I'm not gonna say it's not about EVM, but like solidity. Uh, probably no one here would um, yeah, so that's why we have uh, Wasm. And on top of Wasm, we have this really great uh, module system that actually allows us to do things. So, Wasm, the web assembly system, which is which I'm sure you're all aware of, is a standard set of Wasm imports uh, designed with system design. So, you have several modules like app uh, environments that gives you interesting things like process, what you probably normally find like a process module in your program when it's standard library. A bunch of other random stuff that you can use to uh, good extent. So um, I, I misheard you earlier and thought you said POSIX, um, but no, POSIX, but yeah, well, it's like uh, POSIX a little bit, but it's a lot better because it's modular and then um, you don't actually have to import all the junk that you can either kill onto your account or because of your security platform constraints. Uh, if you've been to any other of these um, meetups, you might have heard um, some people about like walks and blockchain and some topics like how we made uh lossy bad because of topics. it's really not very topic but it wants to be um yeah so like great for lossy work um eventually people well eventually we'll have like a blockchain module maybe hopefully we'll see how far that goes but i think there's still a lot of um, work left to be done before we even get there for the reference types and like the student time or open um and even like um the production video agents be really useful in asynchronous blockchains or asynchronous shard blockchains for all the rage these days. Okay, so then, um, well, you can put Wasi is quite popular. Basically, you have um, several uh, large companies making their own Wasi implementations in their Wasi runtimes, Wasi Wasi runtimes. And of course, um, we here at Oasis have implemented Wasi in our blockchain uh, runtime because it makes things a lot easier. So now, you what it actually makes easier. So, what the quick thing called is the API on the lossy. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, stuff to the left and stuff to the right. So, let's look what you go to. So, we keep on this one. Anyone who's a guest, which one does go to? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, you got your uh, path open and you can see. Yeah, cool. Now, uh, great. So far, so good. One for one. RPCs. Nice, nice. Anything else? Nice. Yeah, basically. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So RPC basically goes to the CPU, the CPU, the CPU. Yeah, so they go to path open um, because it keeps the basics and sockets, and so just imagine sockets will be defined with this one sort of file descriptor interface. And of course, the environment is not a If you're not able to get it. Okay, so then you probably or as well as you will get a really easy entity friend get in time. Uh, you just get the top of the It's actually really interesting that this is a uh, clock resolution because, well, other than for security reasons, uh, having the resolution of the clock really too well in a block time is not always necessarily really good. Okay, anyway, so uh, time for some live demos. Okay, so let's show you why Wasi is so useful. Oh, okay. Okay. So I am not a, uh, I'm not a fan of like Ross. It is like impossible. Uh, <laughs> and so I wanted to use one of these up and coming. Make like, your font right. Yeah. Zoom out. Okay, on. <laughs> okay, so let's say I want to use one of these up and coming uh, languages like Zig. I hear uh, Zig is pretty good. Okay, so. Uh, we have never ever used Zig on the Oasis platform. But, like there's like a you know how zero probability I think it's gonna work. But I'm gonna try anyway. 
Um, okay, so great. So we have a Zinc program, and it is going to say hello to the person who submits the transaction, and then give them a random number if you guys like me or not. Okay, so. Okay, so we went to make a new thing. Okay, cool. So it said hi to me, and gave me a random number. So run it again, it will give you another random number. So over in this panel here, I have a, um, a blockchain running locally. And then if you look at it, Zip has this really cool feature where it compiles. Awesome. Pretty neat. So basically, you can actually use um, any LLB on the front end that you can look to the glossy and glossy history of Yeah. So it's going to help it will um, put this in the developer on GitHub, not the other way. Is it available? Okay, cool. So now on to the fun part. Let's do some rust. Let's do some rust. Okay, so um, this part is, it told me not to do live coding, but I'm going to do live coding anyway. So I'm going to make a, um, a, 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 a suggestion from the audience that you will write blockchain smart contract program uh, using the uh, Oasis Rust SDK. All right. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm okay if you're not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, ransom, like crypto ransom. Okay, let's do crypto ransom. What's a crypto <laughs> ransom? Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to guess that crypto ransom is. Um... <laughs> Alright, so you're going to give it some data. Um, and then. It's going to trick you into storing it forever on the blockchain and using it, but in fact, it's going to ask you for money when you try to get to it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> you want to see the good? More. Yeah. More. Okay, so we just made it up basically. Uh, sorry. What's all this boilerplate? What boilerplate? Oh, this is all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there is no boilerplate. There's no boilerplate. It's literally made from Firefox and Verizon. Um, okay, so this is all the boilerplate. I'll get into that demo once we remember long. Okay, anyway. Um, so let's look at the constructors. This is what, so the constructor is in here. This is what's going to happen when uh, you user deploys a contract. Um, so it's going to take some data, some all the effects, and it's going to return a self. So self should have a user um, data. Okay, so I'm going to get. So we don't need this name itself. Uh, fact, it's the contest and it returns the event. Okay, so then let's check. So we want to, how much money should the user have to pay for data? $10,000. Yeah, this is fun. Day one. <laughs> <laughs> so return a result. Sales. Okay, so um, I'll tell you what's going on with it in just a bit, but uh, basically, it, it Provide more money. If I could type the mo emojis using my keyboard, I'd um, probably do that, but unfortunately, I'm not too well supported. Uh, okay. Yes, indeed. Okay. okay, so then um, basically, you have this special name function, which does literally nothing. Um, but I can go into that later, and I'll start some tests. <coughs> okay, so um, let's test center account with. 
make sure we have enough money. This is why I told not to laugh last time because there's no guarantee to laugh before. Anyways, can we talk about how uh, about the uh, power button? So basically, um, most uh, systems will find that you basically just kind of take some secure contact information, but um, if you're familiar with Rust and Clippy, um, yes, yeah, so Clippy's pretty interesting. It actually hooks the plugin, um, sorry, it hooks the compiler so that it can run like uh, pre parsing, which is where you're Proxy for macros we do run and actually post analysis after the compiler has all the type information. Has type information. Um, so basically, we use the type information to uh, create good. It's kind of nifty because if you do something with non like type string results, you know, you know, it'll actually go. To Whoa, it can't actually work. It's next level. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. That was a great suggestion. Um, <laughs> what am I testing again? Where's the blockchain? Oh, the blockchain. So you can see every blockchain issue. Link it in. It's a bunch of, uh, it's a bunch of, so you, got, you link in the shared object and basically ask the blockchain to uh, it. It asks for a bunch of inputs from the environment. Usually, the inputs are our lossy runtime, but instead, basically, we just make a shared library that works. So you can see the whole thing that happens to have the entire lossy DM. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool, so that's that. Um, great, so then uh, that was basically all I had. I don't remember any slides, uh, so I do. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, you can talk about those assembly problems. Web assembly to go last block. Thank you. I didn't quite follow up with it. Was there any assembly being used in a Rust demo or was it all good? Yeah, so the interesting thing there was that um, it wasn't, so you can stub out the assembly test manually, but you can also, ideally, you would compile the web assembly in the um, big part where it actually has the web assembly back in. Um, oh, actually, that's pretty interesting. Uh, it's pretty cool because this is like the, the actual thing. Um, cool. So, so, so basically, we have, um, we have the home directory, 
Uh, you get the input from the um, liberal one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so this is the one thing So basically, all the stuff you're doing is just through the Rust kind of library. I don't even have to use a lot of syntactic sugar. I can just like straight straight up Rust. Um, in fact, that's what we do for uh, unit tests. Basically, if I want to get the input, uh, that's literally just reading from standard in. I will want to write the output standard out, error, standard error. And if I want to uh, read and write from the blockchain e value store, basically, I just like, open up a path uh, using read, uh, then write to stop, and then go on to write. Uh, sorry, go on to read, I read from a path which corresponds to a key in the Oracle Key e value store, and go on to write similarly, I write to the key value store. Admitting gets kind of interesting, um, basically, you uh, write to a special file called uh, slash op slash log, and you write a special um, length value format, which is parsed, and then that commits an event to block it from uh, client and block to block. But yeah, otherwise, basically, it's just it's uh, often make it so uh, fun to implement these things that are exactly what you're doing. So you show the inverted logging that um, there's like a time zone. Uh, so like computers like have different values of time. So how is one value? What how is time consolidated among those many different Okay, so you're asking about the uh, time zone. Uh, your clock is just fixed at the place where the block is. Right, right, got $20 clock all the time. Right, right, right. Oh, 
When can you use all that stuff that you demoed up on the screen on the Oasis Network? Okay, so that was a uh, question um, about how when you can use the autonomy to pass screens on the Oasis Network. <laughs> Very <laughs> soon, in the next two weeks. <laughs> The next few weeks. Is your ample recommendation to have them? Yeah, it's called the glass book. We have a lot of great links to make sure that the basic is just like for us. That's the type of program model. This kind of blockchain stuff, but yeah, we have lots. But also, if you go to help.oasislabs.com, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's other documentation too. For the internet, that's help.oasis.com. 